Hello, I'm really excited about the possibility of actually being able to see Goat Canyon trestles. Um, I've been kind of bummed out that I'm really not that advanced of a climber. This is the dilemma that I had. One is you could, there's an easy way of doing this, but it's illegal, so I could get a ticket, and that would be just to take the railroad tracks. But the most common route taken is um, this way. Um, let's see where if I can find it. Yeah. The most common route is through these rugged um, rocks here. And it's a really grueling hike up these rocks. This elevation goes quite up high, too. It's about 3,200 feet. And then, um, then after you get this hike, you have to descend down this really um, scary slope. Uh, after actually quite a grueling little uh, journey down a canyon which I'm trying to see yeah so there's this canyon that goes down this way I don't know if you can see this um, and uh, so let's see if I can show you but the view is really cool um, this is just a view of the canyon but there's actually uh, after a while you're gonna see the trestle isn't that gorgeous this is the world's largest wooden curved trestle so the only way to get to this you can't get there by train because it's closed to the public so the only way to get there for most people is to go through this really grueling bit deal and uh, so then you go down this steep um, thing uh, steep slope and it's like really bad I mean it's like uh, look at these rocks and stuff it's almost like straight down in some places uh, you have to negotiate through several difficult um, difficult slopes it's not very forgiving so I was looking at that going, okay, uh, what am I going to do? And I thought about a whole bunch of different routes. Uh, and, um, you know, one route I thought of was going down this creek, which is just really impossible. So then I finally, after looking a while, I looked at the elevation on the terrain map, and I noticed that around here that the elevation was not as bad. So this is what I did was I went, I thought I should go down this way. And uh, so what it is, there's this wash that goes up this way. And then if you take this right branch off this wash, wait, wait, this is the wrong wash, I'm sorry. Um, it's almost running out of time here. I don't have a lot of time. Um, and now I'm getting lost. Um, zoom in a little bit. <laughs> I'm just getting killed here with time. I don't have a, I got a five minute time limit here. So I'm scrambling right here for uh, time, but I don't have it. I'm running out of time really fast. Hey, this is really difficult because you gotta, all right, I think I found it. All right, there it is, okay. This is it right here. It's this little road, Jojoba Canyon Road. So then it goes up here in a scramble, and I'll show this in two parts, but this is the preview. It goes up this canyon up here, and then once it gets up to the top of this canyon, it descends down. Um, yeah, it descends down this little kind of a rocky slope. But what I like about this is it seems like you get to the railroad tracks really quickly. Um, yeah, these are the railroad tracks right here. I got one minute left. And uh, as you can see, there's a railroad track right here in a tunnel. But there's these roads that kind of go around where the tunnel is, so you don't have to go through the tunnel. You kind of go on the tracks or along the tracks a little bit here. And then there's this uh, another road. And then once you get to this road, then va boom, here you have the trestle. Whoa, sorry for spinning around. It's really difficult to control. Ah doesn't want to behave. So that's it. That's the trestle. And this is an overview of the whole area. And as you can see that the normal routes to go down this way, really difficult, but this seems to be an easy way, which is kind of down this way, which is not as bad. So um, I'm going to show a next one without so much as much explanation, you know, as this one here.